Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Now let's take a look at the Bucks opening lineup. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him, and it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Dallas, Dinwiddie and Hardaway Jr. are the two and the three. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Dwight Powell, and it's Doncic in at the one. Well, Clark, I think I speak for all of the NBA family in saying that we are eager to get this season underway. Always, B.A. You know, we love the fact that each new season brings a clean slate for everybody. Players, coaches, announcers, fans. It doesn't matter what you did last season. Everybody starts at ground zero this season. Out of the Kumpo. Bam. Persistence pays for Giannis there using his athleticism and those long arms to collect second chance opportunities for his team. Now here's Dinwiddie. Playing Phoenix, he was nearly unstoppable. Hardaway, no good. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Up top, Allen. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Hanada Kumpo outside. Gets some space and marries the jumper. You know, there was a time when Giannis wasn't too comfortable on catch and shoot jump shots. That's not the case these days, and that's a testimony to his hard work. Now here's Don. Doncic, 33 points last game. Over Holiday, a nice shot by Doncic. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Here's Middleton. Good on the shot. Oh, I love the concentration and focus of Middleton. Knock him around, get physical with him, doesn't bother him at all. He stays calm and in control. Now here's Doncic. Pass to Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway, over Middleton. Doesn't go that time. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Now here's Lopez. And here's Allen. Let's it go. Powell pulls it in. The Mavericks have gone one for three so far. Pass to Hardaway. Dinwiddie against Middleton. Dinwiddie passes to Powell. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. Chris Middleton. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. chance at a three-point play. Yeah, that's just tremendous focus there, guys. I mean, Hardaway Jr. doing a nice job keeping his composure in a tough spot. Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter. Chris. Yeah, B.A., I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point, but he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. good from Hardaway. You know, we all know the name Hardaway, but Tim Hardaway Jr. making a name for himself. Another outstanding shooter that this league has developed. Now here's Middleton. Middleton is doubled. Pass to Allen. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from Rinsen distance. Allen. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates too. Clark, how about the ability Hardaway Jr. has to score? You know, it's really amazing. He's averaged over double digits all but one season in his career. He makes threes, he knocks down free throws, and it really doesn't matter where he's getting the shots from, he's knocking them down. So he's somebody that teams have relied on to score the ball. Now here's Holiday. 17 points in his last outing. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Hardaway, a good look. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Boy, you cannot let Hardaway Jr. get going like this, guys. I mean, once he's in that rhythm and flow, it's bad news for the defense. 
Here's Middleton. Pass to Allen. Powell pulls it in. The Mavericks trailing. Doncic outside. Here's Hardaway. Back to Doncic. And it's all tied up. Doncic has got his second basket of the game. You know, as I watch Doncic, I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is um, excellent. Now here's Middleton. Outside Holiday. That's good. Drew and Holiday. so Middleton with the assist. Three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Doncic. Has to finish Smith. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Lopez with it. It's Middleton on the wing. Outside Holiday. Fires the three. Mavericks with the rebound. Outside Finney Smith. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Hardaway. Out of the Kumpo covering. Hardaway with it. 17 points in his last outing. Shot clock at five. Goes up from the top of the key. Two points. That one goes. Hardaway. Hardaway's got seven. Tell you what, there's not much the defense can do about that. I mean, Hardaway Jr. just has a special knack for making difficult shots. Pass to Powell. It's tipped. Lopez with the steal. Ana de Kumpo with it. Now Doncic defending. Giannis oh, and Giannis hammers it in. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Milwaukee has gone two for four from range to start things off. Middleton outside. Pass to Lopez. Off target from outside. The Mavericks have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Holiday. Doncic against Sano de Kumpo. Now Allen. Back to Middleton. Just five on the clock. Here's Allen. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Allen's got four rebounds in the game. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys. And you can sense his frustration. Holiday against Doncic. Pass to Powell. Back to Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Powell's shot is off. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Allen against Dinwiddie. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Back to Powell. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. Foul. And Powell with that long body of his does a nice at job going at Dallas. the defense and forcing him to foul. Powell. At the line for two. Falls for Powell. You know, Clark, only a handful of teams have won more individual MVP awards than the Bucks. That's really interesting, B. Hey, that you mentioned that. But that's how it goes when you have players like Kareem and Giannis walking through your door. And who knows, Giannis might have even more in him before he's done. So Powell nails them both. Tell you what, the Mavericks are so good in the half court. It helps that Luka is virtually unstoppable in most of the sets they run. 
team feels very comfortable playing a slowdown type of game. Timeout called. Milwaukee, the Mavs, the slowest team in the league under Jason Kidd last season. Well, there's no shame in that for them because they were playing to their team's strengths. They want to put the ball in Luka's hands and space the floor and let him go to work. If you have Luka, that's a smart way to play. They get it back. On to the Kumpo. Banked it in off the glass. On to the Kumpo has got eight. And with Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the contact and to a shot. Back to Walker. Wood, right side. Outside Hardaway. Drills it from deep. He's got ten. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Middleton outside. Back to Otto Kumpo. Carter against Walker. Pass to Matthews. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Walker passes to Wood. Outside Hardaway. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. Fourteen foul. Here's Walker. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Doesn't go for him. Oh, nice D from Carter. The Bucks trail. Out of the Kumpo, outside. Shot clock at six. Carter against Hardaway. Got a hand on it. Walker. Pass to Wood. He shoots. And they'll hang that foul on Maxi Kleba. That's his first foul. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Honiton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Milwaukee has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Carter against Walker. Tipped! Pass to Doncic. Kleba with it. Now Hardaway. The offensive rebound. Now to Kleba. Takes the three. That shot, no good. And Milwaukee shooting only 39% in the early going. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. For Dallas, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. To the paint. Here's Doncic. And a nice finish on the layup. Doncic has got nine. Boy, what balance from Doncic. I mean, he never seems to get rattled even when he attracts contact on the way to score. Maintains his poise in those situations extremely well for a young player. Carter finds out of the Kumpo. Hardaway against Connaughton. To stop the drought. Here's Portis. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. 
Now here's Walker. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Not just a jump shooter, Walker also pretty athletic. And athletic enough to get inside and finish around the basket. Carter against Walker. Carter pass to Portis. Here's Matthews. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And Grant, I guess for the Bucks, they can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out, they fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second chance points. Now here's Hardaway. Ten points for him. Wood outside from behind the arc. He buries it from three. And it's a nine-point Maverick lead. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. Have to be happy with this start offensively. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Modern Kupo's got 10 points in the game. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Outside Walker. Fires from the line. Adetokounmpo grabs the board. Adetokounmpo has got his fifth rebound in this one. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Two shots. First one falls for him. Free throws, good from Portis. Dallas has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Kleba, great positioning on the putback. And the Mavericks lead by seven. And <laughs> those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Some solid D from Wood. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Fetty Smith plays the four with Wood at center. Then it's Green. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. So that's who Dallas starts the second with. Here's Holiday. Down low. Here's the floater. Allen can't get it to go. I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Green against Middleton. Now Green. Five on the clock. Inside. Wood. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Brook Lopez. And Christian Wood moving here to the Mavs over the summer. Now, the Mavs knew they wanted more size. So they sent a number of players in exchange. But they got a deadly weapon to help them this season. Good from Wood. 
Well, Clark, it's getting harder to find players' true positions. We've got bigs who bring the ball up the court. We got guards who defend in the post. Yeah, it's a very different kind of a game. Actually, we hear this phrase positionless basketball all the time, B.A., but the skill level of players is so vast now. I mean, everybody handles the ball, wings and bigs, and you mix and match skills across the court and at every position. So a lot of diversity in the skill set of players in today's game. Really hard not to appreciate a steady big guy like Christian Wood. I mean, he knows his role out on the floor, doesn't try to do Wings things he out. can't, and really gives it his complete effort and focus. I love that. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, a key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Alan. It's tipped. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Christian Wood. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Mavericks. Well, so far, they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side. Tonight, easy shots, and it's made a difference in the game. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. Dallas has got three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And a foul yeah, called on the way up. So three he'll take two there. from the free throw line. First personal foul. Second team foul. Okay. At the line for Dallas. Spencer Dinwiddie. Two shots. He makes a first. After 13 seasons with Rick Carlisle in charge, the Mavs changed their head coach in 2021, Clark. Hiring Jason Kidd, B.A., and a he was a member of that 2011 title team that was a lot of fun to watch. We saw Dallas dedicated to the defensive end under Jason Kidd's leadership. A new voice brought new energy and a refocus, and we'll see if that can be sustained going forward. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Now here's Allen. Five points in the game. Here's Middleton. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. That knee injury sidelining Chris Middleton in last year's playoffs, Grant. How much did the Bucks miss his impact on the floor? Well, B. A. It was a huge loss. He's their main perimeter scoring threat. That's why his game complements Giannis so perfectly. The first one falls. Middleton so highly productive and consistent. A steady contributor night in and night out. Free throws good from Middleton. Well, Clark, Chris Middleton not slowing down when it comes to his production. Yeah, I love the fact he's improved so much as a passer, B.A., sharing the ball more than he ever has and doing it more effectively. And, of course, we know what he can do when he looks to score. He is a bucket. Out to Portis. Shoots it from the corner. And that comes Bottom off the Portis. assist by Middleton. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. The Mavericks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. And Dallas calls time here. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that and Giannis. Wood finds Dinwiddie. Outside, Green. Back to Dinwiddie. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Mavericks lead by 10. 
and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Pass to Middleton. Mavericks foul. Spencer Dinwiddie. First personal foul. Second team foul. For three, Allen. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. Hardaway, the pass to Dinwiddie. That's tipped. It's stolen by Holiday. The fader. Here's Portis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. First personal foul. Now, what's the saying? Don't box out. You get your feelings hurt. Portis. Shooting one. Something Bobby Portis has truly captured is the love of the fans, Clark. Yeah, his energy and enthusiasm is palpable and contagious, but he also puts in the work, and fans recognize that hard work. Middleton against Green. Outside, Finney Smith. Clock at six. Three-pointer off the mark. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Middleton, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Christian Wood picks one up. This is how you stay in the game. They're doing a beautiful job from the line. 100% this quarter. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Middleton. The Mavericks leading. Side Hardaway. Back to Dinwiddie. From downtown. Dallas again missing. For Milwaukee, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. And again, it's the Bucks missing. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting about 43% from the field in the second. against Towers. And they'll get another chance. Hardaway, no good. Here's Middleton. The shot off that time. Good D by Finney Smith. Dallas shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. And it's hammered home by Green. But you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Allen against Hardaway. Outside Holiday. Pass to Allen. There's the three. Here's Lopez. He's now one for two with that bucket. Yeah, bully ball in his way to the rack that time. Lopez with a great second effort. For Dallas, they've got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Deflects the pass. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Now here's Middleton. Launches a three. And the shot is good Chris on the Middleton. assist by Holiday. And now just a two-point Dallas lead. Oh, I like seeing Middleton stroking from downtown. Timeout, timeout. That release of his pure as white-driven snow. Now a timeout called by Dallas. 
Oh, you know what time this man man. Here comes your King Cam Crew! Wood. His last outing, he had 18 points. Allen against Hardaway. Back to Dinwiddie. Fires from deep. Sinks it from distance. Dinwiddie's got seven points in the game. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Here's Portis for three. Can't get it to drop. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Denwitty. Shoots over Allen. The rebound by Allen. Pass to Lopez. Over Wood. Second chance effort. Porta's shot is off. The Mavericks have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Hardaway's shot is good. And it's a seven-point Dallas lead. We are seeing Hardaway Jr. at his very best. Sometimes he flat out simply timeout. take over game with his scoring ability. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Undrafted coming out of college in 2016, Dorian Finney-Smith okay, had to earn his place in the league. And DFS did so primarily with his defense initially. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Powell, he's checked in for Wood. Kleba comes in for Green. Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Dinwiddie. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Anadokounmpo's checked in for Finney Smith. He's a classic 3 and deep player, Clark. Those guys are high demand right now. They sure are, B.A. And what a story for Dorian Finney Smith. I mean, I remember watching him in Florida. Thought he had a chance to be an NBA player, but he just signed a four-year, $52 million contract in 2022 and he certainly has tapped into the potential that some of us thought he had his willingness to compete on defense that's how you make a mark in the league and then you add to your offensive game and you've got staying power six to shoot the rebound by the Bucks. well you've got to be there defensively I mean that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain Races yep out. that one's good Improving as a playmaker, Giannis knows this is the next step in him becoming an even greater player. Kleba outside. Pass to Doncic. The three. Rebound by Middleton. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. feet out. Second chance shot. And it's finished off by yeah, Anadokounmpo okay, as he lays it in. Anadokounmpo's got 12. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Powell in the post. Covered by Lopez. Can't hit that one. He's going to hear from his teammates after that one. Not quite sure what happened. Oh, wasted no time on that one. He's got 12. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Bullock. Three-pointer. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Really good pass from Finney Smith. He understands that you can't squeeze that orange if you've got somebody ready to catch and shoot. Allen on the wing. Kicks it out to Middleton. Out of the Kumpo. Outside. For three, Allen. And another Racing three for Allen. Milwaukee. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth in long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And Dallas calls time here. 
and something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout. Might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. A different look for Dallas. Bertans checked in for Kleba, and it's Kimball Walker in for Finney Smith. Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Carter comes in for Holiday. Walker against Carter. Walker passes to Powell, and here's Doncic outside. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo has got his seventh rebound here tonight, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Perhaps the best trait of Giannis is loyalty, Clark. Shooting Love that about him, B.A. We've seen others test those free agent waters. No begrudgment there, but not Giannis. Stayed in Milwaukee, a small market team, signing an extension in 2020, and then led the Bucks to that 2021 title. The Greek freak didn't need to get to a super team to get a ring. He birthed and led a super team right where he was. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter, but right now he's showing some aggressiveness out there. He's good on the second. A minute 37 left in the second. Outside Walker. Back to Doncic. Three-pointer. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Doncic has got 12 points. You know, often once Luka gets the ball, it's all over. It's all she wrote. Well positioned to finish that catch and shoot. Collinson outside. Pass to Carter. The wide open shot is on the money. Carter's got his first points of the night. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Bertans. On to Kumpo covering. Bertans, the pass to Doncic. 4-3. It's a three-pointer. Doncic has got six here in the quarter. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Connaughton outside. The shot from 20 feet out. Offensive rebound. And the basket by yeah, Adonis Kumpo. He's got 14. You know, when Giannis is being this aggressive on offense, he can be really hard to stop. Defense needs to make an adjustment. Here's Doncic. Good D by Middleton. And the Bucks pushing it up now. Carter from outside. Walker pulls down the board. From deep. Buzzer beater. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Mavericks on top. They're up by four. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy. So it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 15 points, two assists, and two rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? Well, those second chance points are huge, and they only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. 
And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Kicking off the second half, here's Mike Budenholzer's five. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. And it's Middleton in at the three. The small forward. Doncic, good. Par for the course for Luka Doncic. Just one of those games where he's got it on cruise control. Outside Holiday, Allen on the wing. Back to Holiday. The three is up. Knocks down the long J. Holiday's got six. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Pass to Hardaway. From deep three-point range. Finney Smith shot is off. The Bucks trail. On to Kumpo. The pass to Allen. Now here's Middleton. And here is Hanada Kumpo. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Lopez. No easy options for the defense when Lopez gets in deep. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Bucks. Brooke Lopez taking two shots. Free throw drops for Lopez. Nice looking set shot for Lopez. He can stretch the floor just about to the three-point line. And Lopez drops them both. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Ali. Thanks for that. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. 90 seconds into the second half now. Doncic up top. He's covered by Holiday. They've got to tighten up the ball control. That pass was just too easy to defend. Pass to Allen for the lead. Good. And Adana Kumpo gets the assist. Adana Kumpo has got his third assist of the night. Now Hardaway. Dinwiddie left side. Shoots over Lopez. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. At the line for Dallas. Spencer Dinwiddie. At the line for two. Throw good, Dinwiddie. <laughs> and 
and both free throws good for Dinwiddie. The Bucs have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Outside Holiday. Back to Middleton. Up and over Hardaway. Again, the Bucs. Good for two. Versatility in an offensive player always appealing to me. Chris Middleton is one of those guys who's got great versatility. Hardaway against Middleton. To the middle. Now here's Finney Smith. He's closely guarded. Finney Smith has a clear understanding of his role in this offense, including when to take charge and draw fouls. At the line for Dallas, Dorian Finney-Smith taking two shots. First free throw is good. The definition of a stretch for Finney Smith is a really valuable offensive player. So hits one and misses one at the line. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in the game. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And, you know, what's most impressive about Luka Doncic is how fast he has become a bona fide star in this league. I mean, you get the feeling he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. But I believe... Those games at the highest level in Europe really prepared him to be a star in the NBA. For three, Allen. They get the rebound from outside the arc. Here's Anadokounmpo. And finally, they hit one. Anadokounmpo has got 16 points now. They've been so active on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have really come in bunches. Yeah, they certainly have been. You'd like to knock down that first one, but if you don't, then the second shot is the next best thing. It's good. Hardaway's got five points now this quarter. And Luca is the kind of guy you build your team around, Clark. Yeah, and I think this next step is being a franchise player that learns how to lead effectively. It's incredible how much he has already accomplished at such a young age. And this transition coming to the NBA from Europe has been, I think, surprisingly seamless. Dallas has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Doncic finds Dinwiddie. And it's going to be a three-second three. call. Three second. You know, guys, sometimes that just You're happens. But you don't like to see it when the game is this close. The Bucs have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Allen, pass to Middleton. Pass to Holiday. Up and over Doncic. The shot by Holiday, no good. For Dallas, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Hardaway on the wing. Back to Dinwiddie. To the inside. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. That's just too easy. He got off for more resistance. I mean, Hardaway Jr., very dangerous once he gets this type of position. Holiday passes to Allen. Middleton against Hardaway. Outside Holiday. For three, Allen. Here's Anadokounmpo. Collects the two points near the hoop. Anadokounmpo has got four points this quarter. You know, I think you got to push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. 
and here's Dinwiddie from the arc. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got four assists now tonight. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Allen, the pass to Holiday. Over Doncic. The Mavericks pull it in. Powell's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Doncic. Over on an Akumpo. That shot is off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Allen, the pass to Alan Akumpo. Back to Allen. There's the triple. The Mavericks pull it in. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. When Hardaway Jr. is forcing the issue like that, it draws the defense's attention, and I like his aggressiveness as a scorer. Tim Hardaway And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Dallas. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. You know, they've been knocking down triples, too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. That one's good from Hardaway. You know, you look at Hardaway Jr. right now. I think efficiency is everything. Should be the priority for him. I think he has the talent, no doubt, but just needs to play to his strengths a little bit more. He's perfect from the line this time. The Bucks have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Timeout call, Milwaukee. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Holiday passes to Middleton. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got four rebounds now. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He pinned that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, you got to give Hardaway Jr. credit, guys. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to get to a spot and then make the defense compromise. Hardaway Jr. at the line for two. No good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. The Bucks trail. Middleton outside. Pass to Wanda Kumpo. Middleton outside. Here's Holiday. Just five to shoot. And the Bucks miss again. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Doncic with it. the middle. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. From deep. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Bucks shooting a disappointing 38%. Here's Anadokounmpo. 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Giannis, Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the game, but they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post, whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. down the first one he is creeping up in those all-time conversations Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year quite the resume and he is not done for a while folks So Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Here's Bullock. Middleton covering. Bullock. Good. Bullock's got eight. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Down low. And Carter gets it to go on the assist from Antetokounmpo. The decision-making of Giannis Antetokounmpo, I mean, he seems to improve on this passing every season, which is impressive. Doncic against Carter. Here's Kleba. No good on the three. Milwaukee shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Carter against Wood. Carter, the pass to Portis. No good off the glass. Dallas has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Back to Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. Just doing a nice job showing you some sneaky explosion and athleticism on that throw down. Pass to Middleton. Carter with it. Jacks up a three. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got his fourth assist in this one. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. in for Hardaway and Milwaukee also making a switch Connaughton he's checked in for Chris Middleton for Dallas they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third Connaughton against Green back to Bullock pass to Wood fires the three counted from distance he's got nine for a big wood can really knock it down from out there. He'll stretch the floor any chance he gets. Back to Carter. Here's Portis. Guarded by Wood. Here's Matthews. It's rebounded by Dallas. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Next up, they'll face the Nuggets in Denver. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Green, the pass to Wood. Kleba, right side. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two Here's minutes. Bullock. And the Mavericks, another three. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Outside Carter. To the wing on the left. Adetokounmpo, that's good. Adetokounmpo has got 22. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Outside, Green. Doncic against Tana de Kumpo. Pulls up on the wing. It's hauled in by Connaughton. 
And for the Bucks, they're shooting the rock around 43% since the third quarter began. Count that bucket. And now just a five-point Dallas lead. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Back to Bullock. The three ball. That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Doncic has got assist number five here tonight. Well, I think they're getting caught in that in-between zone. No man's land. Giving up three straight from beyond the arc right now. Out to the wing. Here's Matthews. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Portis outside. Carter from outside. Kept alive. On to Kumpo. And the jam yeah, by Ana de Kumpo. Man, it would be kind of cool to be Giannis for just one game. He makes dunking and getting to the rim look so easy. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And there's Doncic. That's good. On the assist by Green. He's got 21. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Tim Hardaway, he's been the guy making things happen for Dallas. Providing the scoring punch right now. Putting up a cool 22. Back to the game after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Dwight Powell out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Kimball Walker. Then it's Reggie Bullock. And it's Dinwiddie in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Dinwiddie against Carter. Just four to shoot. Shoots over Powell. It's deflected. Walker against Holiday. Pass to Dinwiddie. Shoots. Nora grabs the board. The Bucks trail. Now here's Holiday. Here's Nora. Outside Carter. He can't get that one to fall. Now Dallas takes it the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And rejected. Connaughton up top. He's marked by Finney Smith. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that one. An outstanding team. Pat Connaughton was a pro baseball pitcher. Registering 96 Pat miles per hour on two the radar shots. gun. However, Pat chose hoops, and the Bucks are glad he did. Off. Well, talking about Pat Connaughton, he's not the first guy to be drafted in pro baseball and then the NBA, Clark. Hey, B.A., not surprising coming from you, that factoid, because of all the baseball games you call. But you're right, Danny Ainge played in the big leagues. How about this? I didn't know Dale Curry had been drafted in both the round ball and the hard ball, meaning baseball. So precedent for that type of dual talent. The Mavericks leading. Outside, green. Pass to Kleba. Let's the three fly. Dallas, no good that time either. And you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. 
Inside. And it's Connaughton. That time on the assist from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. They grab their own miss. Powell finds Kleba. The fadeaway. Rebound, Milwaukee. Outside Holiday. Over Green. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. And now just a three-point Maverick lead. This is one of the things that makes Holiday so, so good. He's able to concentrate at a high level even when the defense is right there. Dinwiddie against Carter. The ball's knocked loose. And that'll be Dallas's ball as it goes out of bounds. Maverick's able to keep the possession. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Clock at four. And they call an illegal screen here. You know, you think back to that first half. He only turned it over one time. But since then, he's been giving it away. The Bucks have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Poke loose. Out of and it goes out of bounds. Last Bill touch by Powell. Powell. Pass to Holiday. Outside Carter. Here's Nora. He's checked by Kleba. Shoots a fadeaway. Knocked loose. Lopez. And that one's good. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Defense really unable to stop. Lopez very dangerous from that spot. Holiday against Walker. Back to Green. This one for three. Buries it from three. And the Mavericks lead by four. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's Holiday on the money from 12 feet away. Encouraging signs for him after starting the game poorly. He's picked it up here in the second half. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Walker. Over Holiday. Here's Powell. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Carter with it. And Dinwiddie picks him up defensively. And here's Connaughton for three. On target from range. And neither side able to take control of this game. Yeah, at this rate, it's going to come down to a photo finish. To green. Back to Walker. Beyond the arc. No luck on that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing this under control. To... With a tough yeah. road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. Dinwiddie outside. Passes to Walker. Dallas again missing. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling in on the ropes. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Here's Kleba. Dallas, no good that time either. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the play. Pass to Lopez. Here's Nora. Outside Holiday. Outside Carter. Takes a three. 
And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Three points. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his half. I and mean, he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround. Outside, Green. Walker for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Carter with it. Guarded by Kleba. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. The way they've been chasing after their shots in this game is really admirable. Getting them lots of second chance looks at the basket too. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. And that one falls for Carter. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Christian Wood is checked in for Powell. Finney Smith comes in for Kleba. Hardaway's checked in for Green. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Walker. Anadokounmpo is checked in for Milwaukee. Middleton comes in for Connaughton. And so Carter nails them both. Here's Doncic. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Here's Dinwiddie. He's checked by Carter. And there's Dinwiddie. That one's good. On the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got six assists now in the game. And here's Holiday. Lopez with it, guarded by Wood. Middleton outside, Carter from outside, and he's 6 for 12 after that one. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Hardaway against Middleton, and here's Doncic outside, and the Mavericks, another three! And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Timeout called, time Milwaukee. And you look at the Milwaukee intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He told them it's going to come down to our defense. If we buckle down and get stuck, they've got no way back. With the win in sight, he doesn't want them to relax. Guys, back up to you. All right, Allie, thanks once again. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. That one's good from Hardaway. He's off on the second. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 19-7 run. Outside Carter. Back to Middleton. The floater. It's rebounded by Dallas. Hardaway's got his fifth rebound in this one. He's 9 for 14 in the game. Well, Hardaway Jr. is a competitor now, showing you some real toughness. He's not going to give you an inch. He's going to fight you to the finish. Here's 
Here's Middleton. Oh, and he got Dallas fouled Dallas. on his way up. He'll Tim head to the Hardaway line to shoot Jr. two. Second personal foul. It goes on Tim Hardaway. Foul. At the line for the Bucks, Chris Middleton. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And the Bucks making a change here. Allen's checked in. Both free throws good from Middleton. Dallas has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Pass to Wood. Now here's Doncic. Up and over Carter. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Hardaway against Middleton. Here's Allen. Carter, the pass to Lopez. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Allen. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three to Rachel fall. Allen. And the three. Bucks lead by 11. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Doncic passes to Dinwiddie. Back to Doncic. Out to the right wing. Here's Wood. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh boy, that is outstanding body control by Wood. This is a guy that's seven feet tall, showing you great focus and body control. And the Bucks with some changes. Portis comes in for Lopez. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Carter. And the free throw, no good. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton with it. Guarded now by Finney Smith. And it's Dorian Finney Smith with the foul. First person. That's his first foul. Fourth team foul. Pass to Holiday. Kumpo, right side. Shot clock at six. Over Finney Smith. They get it back. Here's Middleton. Boy, excellent coverage that time by Wood. His length and speed make him hard to get around. Now Doncic. He's covered by Holiday. Wood, the open look. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Wood's got four points this quarter. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Time out called. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Seven. A minute and a half left in the fourth quarter here.
127 left to play in the fourth. Doncic against Holiday. And it goes as the official calls the foul. And he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul. Giannis Antetokounmpo. His fifth personal. Third team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks. Luka Doncic. At the line for one. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Milwaukee has gone 4-5 or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Now here's Anadokounmpo. He's marked by Finney Smith. Anadokounmpo! Bam! And in addition to his great talent, Anadokounmpo has the reputation of being an outstanding leader as well. He's a clutch player who demands the ball in these situations. You love that. Here's Doncic. Got a piece of it. Launches it. And Allen gets Let's it to go. go on the assist by Holiday. And now a nine-point Bucks lead. Here's Doncic. And the shot goes down. That's just a fantastic decision from Doncic, seeing the chance to go to work inside and taking it. Outside Holiday. Pass to Portis. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Allen. Second shot opportunity. He can't get it to go. Some solid D from Wood. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all yeah. but official. Hardaway. Yeah, he's got a great yeah. motor, Hardaway Jr. He does not need to be pushed to step up in big moments. He foul. relishes it. Luke and now we've got an intentional foul. Third personal foul. 15 foul. Shooting for Milwaukee. Drew Holiday. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him. Because those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. And Dallas calls time here. They're losing by seven. 11 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. The three from Wood. Rebound by Middleton. Pass to Anadokounmpo. So we see the Bucks get the win here. The end of the Just game. a gutsy performance on the road. It and really was. When this one was up in the air late, we they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, a tremendous performance. What enabled you to win this game so convincingly? Uh, it was a team effort. I think we came out. We did not mess around with the game. Okay, we did our job, we defended, we moved the ball, that's why we were able to uh, close the game. Giannis always recognizing the importance of his teammates. Thanks so much, Giannis.